Hey, today I have another skincare review for you on some of the skincare that I picked up here in Asia. Today I'm going to be talking about this Garnier Secura White Night Cream. I kept the box because this package pretty much has nothing on it. It literally is just a glass container that says exactly what it is and nothing else. This is the Garnier Secura White Pinkish Radiant Sleeping Essence. It has two times Japanese Secura extract and it's suitable for sensitive skin. I picked this up in Indonesia for around six or seven dollars. I had seen it before in Hong Kong and I was interested to try it especially because it said radiance and I'm all about that radiance in my skin because I do have dry skin. And when I saw this for six dollars I knew I needed to pick it up and try it out along my way because I did run out of night cream anyway so it was just like meant to be. This is in a glass container so it's like super fancy. I feel like none of the Garnier products in North America come in a glass container. So for traveling when we're here in Asia it's not not, it's not good and it pretty much can break and that's why I've decided to use it up before I take it home. I am considering buying another one of these when I'm in Hong Kong and just biting the bullet and paying the full price for it which I think was just under $20. So $6 to $20 is a little bit upsetting but unfortunately I'm not going back to Indonesia which is where I found it and that's a little bit sad but oh well what can you do. I got to try it out for the less expensive one in case I didn't like it and that way I don't feel so bad spending that much. Overall I think that this is a really nice night cream. I think that normally I prefer something a little bit more hydrating but being in a lot of Asian countries when it's quite hot out I find that this is enough hydration for my skin. I like the fact that it does have that radiance to it so it feels like it really moisturizes my skin but I do wish it was thicker and I think that I, that's just personal preference because I do prefer a night cream that is a lot thicker for my dry skin. I feel like when a night cream is a little bit more thicker and a little bit more hydrating I really wake up with radiant skin and although this says radiant in the title I feel like my skin does look really moisturized when I wake up it's just not as radiant as I expected it to be because it has that radiance in the title so I think it's really good my boyfriend is using it with me just because we're traveling and we're sharing a lot of the same things and he has a little bit more of like oily skin and he doesn't find that it's too oily or too moisturizing for his skin so I think that this would probably be really good for normal or combination skin because it's not overly hydrating it doesn't make you produce excess grease it's not overly just moisturizing or really doesn't clog the pores or boggle down the skin with too much hydration especially for oily skin. On the back here it says it hydrates skin for 24 hours and lets skin breathe while you sleep. I pretty much would agree with it. It's light enough where your skin really breathes and it really lets sort of the air get to your skin especially for oilier skin or combination skin like my boyfriend where for me it does really hydrate. I don't know if it's as hydrating as I want it to be as I said but I would agree. It definitely lets your skin breathe. It doesn't sort of clog the pores or really produce too much heaviness on the skin and it does hydrate really well. I do feel like my skin is really hydrated when I wake up. It also says on the back here it helps lighten skin tone, fade dark spots, and refine skin texture. I think that has to do with the fact that it has the radiance in it. Pretty much every Asian skincare that I've come across has something to do with whitening and most of the time it usually means like it's going to fade dark spots or really just even out your skin tone and help prevent any of your dark spots from getting any darker and I think that that's good. I don't think that I really have many problems with dark spots. I do get breakouts every now and then, but they do heal up relatively faster. And I do have freckles. I didn't feel like they lightened any of those. So I never really felt like it lightened any of my skin. My boyfriend does have some dark spots as well, and I never really saw a difference in his skin, and I don't believe he saw a difference in his skin. It did really help sort of radiate the skin, so I think that maybe the radiance sort of counterbalances the dark spots, which is nice. But overall, I wouldn't say that this is is like the number one pick to lighten dark spots. I didn't really see much of a difference and I have been using it for probably five to six weeks now and I never really found much of a difference in that aspect. I did find that it is hydrating and it does feel really nice. The one thing that I do really like about this is the fact that it smells really good. It has like oh, like a fragrant fruity smell to it and normally I'm not someone who likes skincare to be really fragrant because I feel like that usually irritates your skin but this I never found to irritate my skin I felt like it kept it really moisturized and really like soft feeling and overall I thought that this was really good I feel like this is a really nice night cream I would probably prefer to use it more in the summer months at home or on my trip right now we're in a lot of hot countries so it's nice to use something that's not overly heavy or overly rich so 
I think that maybe I would purchase another one and use it at home when it's more of like a summer month and it's a little bit hotter out. But if you have combination to oily skin and you find that you want something that is just a really nice moisturizing that might have some radiance or sort of whitening properties to it and you're looking not to spend too much, you kind of just want to go for drugstore, if you can find this available in North America, which I don't believe it is, but if you can find it even available on eBay or any kind of Korean or Asian skincare websites, I would probably recommend it. It's an interesting try and I really do enjoy most of the Asian skincare. I was excited to try out Asian skincare while I was here and I feel like going with Garnier is something that was a little bit more well known to me before I did some research that it was a first sort of really nice try into Asian skincare. I'm really excited to try a lot of Japanese skincare as I continue along my journey. So far I would say that this is a good buy and I would recommend it. it just make sure that it fits the needs that you're looking for. If you've tried this Garnier Sakura White Night Cream, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you can see all my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned.